Dispatch includes the following counties in Illinois. Cook, DeKalb, DuPage, Ford, Grundy, Iroquois, Kane, Kankakee, Kendall, LaSalle, Lee, Livingston, and Will. And the following counties in Indiana. Benton, Jasper, Laporte, Lake, Newton, Porter, Polaski, and Star. And the following. Will Lake Harbor to Northerly Island, Illinois. Northerly Island to Calumet Harbor, Illinois. Calumet Harbor, Illinois to Gary, Indiana. Gary to Burns Harbor, Indiana. Burns Harbor to Michigan City, Indiana. Lake Michigan from Winter Harbor to Will Lake Harbor, Illinois, five nautical miles offshore to Mid Lake, and Lake Michigan from Will Lake Harbor, Illinois to Michigan City, in five nautical miles offshore to Mid Lake. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. service in Miami has issued a flash flood warning for Broward County in southeastern Florida until 8 p.m. At 4.53 p.m., Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain in Hallandale, Dania Beach, Hollywood, Feet, Lauderdale. Additional rainfall amounts of 3 to 6 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is already occurring. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Fort Lauderdale, Pembroke Pines, Hollywood, Miramar, Coral Springs, Pompano Beach, Davie, Plantation, Sunrise, Boca Raton, Deerfield Beach, Tamarack, Margate, Lighthouse Point, Lauderdale by the Sea, Hallandale, Miami Gardens, Waterhill, Weston and Coconut Creek. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a flash flood warning for northern Miami-Dade County in southeastern Florida until 8 p.m. At 5.55 p.m., Doppler radar and automated rain gauges indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain in northeastern Miami-Dade. Additional rainfall amounts of 3 to 5 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flood already occurring. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar and automated gauges. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Miami, Hialeah, Miramar, Miami Beach, Coral Gables, Key Biscayne, Surfside, Miami Gardens, Virginia Key, North Miami, Doral, North Miami Beach, Aventura, Miami Lakes, Hialeah Gardens, Sunny Isles Beach, Opalaka, Miami Springs, Miami Shores and North Bay Village. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. service.
Office in Boston has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Essex County in northeastern Massachusetts, southeastern Worcester County in central Massachusetts, Norfolk County in eastern Massachusetts, Suffolk County in eastern Massachusetts, southeastern Middlesex County in northeastern Massachusetts, northwestern Plymouth County in southeastern Massachusetts, until 2.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 1.22 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Auburn to Wellesley to Medway, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Boston, Cambridge, Quincy, Lynn, Newton, Somerville, Framingham, Waltham, Malden, Brookline, Medford, Weymouth, Revere, Peabody, Arlington, Everett, Salem, Beverly, Woburn, and Braintree. Finally, Connecticut, you test. Oh, boy. Really? Must be relayed last night. This station is testing the Connecticut Statewide Emergency Alert System, a system that can quickly warn in the event of an emergency is being tested. If this had been an Amber Alert, evacuation, or other emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test. Brought to you by the Connecticut Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection. Here we go. For Sussex County in northwestern New Jersey, northern Warren County in northwestern New Jersey, central Monroe County in northeastern Pennsylvania, northeastern Northampton County in eastern Pennsylvania, until 5 p.m. At 4.14 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Skittop to near Jonas, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to roofs, siding, trees, and power lines is possible. Locations impacted include Newton, Hopatcong, East Stroudsburg, Hutchetstown, Blairstown, Bangor, Mount Arlington, Franklin, Stanhope, Penn Argyle, Hamburg, Lidcong, Ogdensburg, Sussex, Hope, East Bangor, Branchville, Andover, Stormville, and Wary Lake. This includes the following highways, Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania between mile markers 298 and 314, Interstate 80 in New Jersey between mile marker 0 and 23, Interstate 380 in Pennsylvania near mile marker 0. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. There you go. New severe thunderstorm warning right now. So that just popped up over parts of Sussex and Warren County. So some of these gusts could go over 50 miles an hour. We could have some damaging winds, hail, and heavy rain and dangerous lightning. All right, let's get going right now. First of all, there was a shower that was running across the north shore of the island. Not severe, but a downpour northeast of Huntington. Probably goes north of Smithtown, but then over to east of Tonkin. But there is the storms right here. So that's moving across Pike and Sullivan County and ready to move into Sussex and Warren County. So you want to be in a place of safety right now and wait these storms out. They'll have heavy downpours, vivid lightning, and potentially some damaging winds that can take down some tree limbs. Timing these storms, they'll be moving to places over parts of northwestern New Jersey uh, over the next few minutes, 437 here, so another 20 minutes or so, and then moving eastward. Now, it has it in New York City by 642, but the thing that will happen with this is as the storms come eastward, there'll be new boundaries that form, convergence areas where new storms form. So there can be storms before that that flare up Bergen County, New York City, in the 5 o'clock hour down the shore, even over parts of Long Island. Look how it's rough through the 7 o'clock hour. Hudson Valley right down in New York City in the Monmouth and Ocean over the island during the evening hours. I think Detroit is basically winding down 7.30, 8 o'clock in New York City. And then it'll take till maybe after 8.30 or 9 to get offshore and then just a lingering shower overnight. Severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Hunterton County in northwestern New Jersey, southwestern Warren County in northwestern New Jersey, Lehigh County in eastern Pennsylvania, northwestern Bucks County in southeastern Pennsylvania, southern Northampton County in eastern Pennsylvania until 5.30 p.m. 
At 4.40 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Neffs, or 9 miles northwest of Allentown, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to roofs, siding, trees, and power lines is possible. Locations impacted include Allentown, Easton, Bethlehem, Forks, Northampton, Wilson, Hellertown, Nazareth, Slatington, Bath, Alpha, Walnutport, Ferndale, West Easton, Milford, Canami, Bloomsbury, Regalsville, Steuben, and Glendon. This includes the following highways, northeast extension between mile markers 56 and 71. Interstate 78 in Pennsylvania between mile markers 52 and 76. Interstate 78 in New Jersey between mile marker 0 and 8. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. And then a new thunderstorm warning, the eastern side of that also includes parts of Southern Warren and in Hunterdon County. Same criteria, the potential for 60 mile per hour damaging gusts and penny size hail in some of the areas that might be impacted, a place like Bloomsbury to the north. The storms that could go through Blairstown, Newton, Frankfurt, up to Wantage and Vernon. These storms are coming in right now, crossing the Delaware Water Gap. 45 year old Matt Kuchar. Mikey, 21st U.S. Open Cup, 36 hole qualifier at the Bears Club where he lives. Now, Jack Nicholson's golf course, he said that was, it was so hot, he said that was, I didn't move the next day. But worth it. Oberg on the T11 Tracer Technology brought to you by Rolex. Let's see, you can get back to fairway finding. Yeah, he missed the last two fairways, number eight and number 10 on the left side, and that was beautiful. So look at this. This is live TV. They just issued a severe thunderstorm watch for much of our area and you're going to see the atmosphere serve up these storms. Includes the following counties in New Jersey, Bergen, Essex, Hudson, Hunterdon, Middlesex, Monmouth, Morris, Passaic, Somerset, Sussex, Union, and Warren, and the following counties in New York, Orange, and Rockland. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, broadcast radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Sussex County in northwestern New Jersey until 5.45 p.m. At 5.02 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Haynesville or near Montague, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, minor damage to vehicles is possible. Wind damage to roofs, siding, trees, and power lines is possible. Locations impacted include Montague, Franklin, Hamburg, Sussex, Branchville, High Point, Pelletown, Highland Lake, Vernon Valley, Haynesville, and Crandon Lakes. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Holly, New Jersey has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Morris County, southeastern Sussex County in northwestern New Jersey, east central Warren County in northwestern New Jersey, until 6 p.m. At 5.17 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Newton to Beach Town, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to roofs, siding, trees, and power lines is possible. Locations impacted include Morristown, Newton, Dover, Madison, Hopatcong, Florham Park, East Hanover, Lincoln Park, Kinalon, Hutchetstown, Boonton, Butler, Wharton, Rockaway, Morris Plains, Mount Arlington, Franklin, Mendham, Mountain Lakes, and Stanhope. This includes the following highways, Interstate 80 in New Jersey between mile markers 18 and 49. Interstate 287 in New Jersey between mile markers 34 and 54. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
promise, I think I'm going to break it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Channel 4 is relaying another one. go upstairs to see if the other radios are relaying it. Yep. KCC 31. Expect wind damage to trees and power lines. This severe thunderstorm will be near West Milford around 5.35 p.m. Ringwood around 5.45 p.m. Slotesburg around 5.55 p.m. Suffering around 6 p.m. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle. I had a feeling that would happen. 2 p.m. for the following counties in Jersey, Oregon, and Passaic, and the following counties in New York, Orange, and Rockland. Yep. Knew I would catch it. As soon as I got the alert on Twitter X, I was like, yes! It's the one I've been waiting for all day. Good job, Upton. Good job, Mount Holly. As she get relayed on KCC 31, I knew it would happen. No way. I couldn't get this alert on time on KWO 35, but look at this. Channel 4 is relaying it. Middlesex, Monmouth, and Ocean County, New Jersey. And this is also including Six Flags Theme Park. Sorry about that. My dad's still under the weather, but yeah, they're relaying the ticker again. So basically, I've heard from Six Flags folks. They're telling all the park visitors to shelter in place. And earlier at Dorney Park in Allentown, Pennsylvania, in Bucks County, I think it might have been Bucks County or Northampton. They were telling everybody, no, it was Lehigh County, right? Lehigh County. They were telling everybody, shelter in place. I hope I'm not getting under the weather, but yeah. Ugh. There you go, Channel 4 just related. Show everybody where that new warning is right there. Okay, so that now goes into the 
until 6.30. And that's from Mercer in Middlesex and Monmouth in Ocean County. Again, 60 mile per hour winds. That's approaching Jackson, Manalapan, so it could go to Howell and ultimately Toms River. There's another cell that just popped up over northern Monmouth. Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Mercer County, Northwestern Burlington County, Southwestern Somerset County, Southwestern Middlesex County, Southeastern Bucks County in Southeastern Pennsylvania until 6.30 p.m. Yep, just got the alert on Twitter. p.m. Severe thunderstorms were located along a line mm. extending from Hopewell to near Palmyra, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles mm. per hour wind gusts. Source. Radar indicated. Thank you, Dad. Impact, damage to roofs, siding, trees, and power lines is possible. Locations impacted include Philadelphia, Trenton, Ben Salem, Ewing, Willingboro, Princeton, Florence, Burlington, Bristol, Mount Holly, Riverside, Palmyra, Bordentown, Pennington, Beverly, Yardley, Hopewell, Tellertown, Langhorne, and Florence Roebling. New Jersey Turnpike. It includes the following highways. Turnpike between exits 5 and 7A. Yep. Pennsylvania Turnpike between mile markers 352 and 359. Interstate 95 in Pennsylvania between mile markers 34 and 40. I-95. Interstate 195 in New Jersey between mile marker 0 and 3. Interstate 295 in New Jersey between mile markers 43 and 76. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. No! Are they relaying the SVR for Tom's River, New Jersey? Yeah, they are! They are! Whoa! This is the one for Tom's River. Yep. Yep, that's definitely Jake's Branch State Park. So look at that. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in the Pine Barrens. National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a special marine warning for Sandy Hook, New Jersey to Fire Island and let New York out 20 nautical miles, New York Harbor, until 7.15 p.m. At 6.36 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located over Cliffwood Beach, moving east at 20 knots. Hazard. Wind gusts 34 knots or greater and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The strong thunderstorm will be near Raritan Bay around 6.40 p.m. Sandy Hook Bay around 6.50 p.m. Lower New York Harbor around 7 p.m. Voters should seek safe harbor immediately until the storm passes. Wind gusts 34 knots or greater, small hail, high waves, lightning, and heavy rain are expected with the storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Yep, I think we have another SVR coming. That was one of the alerts Source, that just got on Twitter. Indicated. Yep. Impact. Minor hail damage to vehicles is possible. Expect wind damage to trees and power lines. This severe thunderstorm will be near White Plains and Harrison around 6.45 p.m. Port Chester and Greenwich around 6.50 p.m. 
Stanford around to 7 p.m. Dairy in the route 7:10 p.m. Norwalk around 7:15 p.m. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor Ooh. of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Yep, now Channel 4 is relaying it. There we go. Issued a special marine warning for Long Island Town, west of New Haven, Connecticut, Port Jefferson, New York, until 8 p.m. At 7.01 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located over Execution Rocks, moving east at 15 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater and small hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The strong thunderstorm will be near Baxter Estates, Execution Rocks, Hempstead Harbor, Mamaroneck Harbor, and Manhasset Bay around 7.05 p.m. Oyster Bay Harbor around 7.20 p.m. Cold Spring Harbor and Oyster Bay around 7.25 p.m. Huntington Bay around 7.40 p.m. Voters should seek safe harbor immediately until the storm passes. Wind gusts 34 knots or greater, small hail, high waves, lightning, and heavy rain are expected with the storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck. If possible, keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Whoa, back to back. This one is. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York, has issued a special marine warning for Sandy Hook, New Jersey, to Fire Island Inlet, New York, out 20 nautical miles, New York Harbor, until 8 p.m. Not surprised. At 7:03 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located near Sandy Hook, moving east at 20 knots. Hazard: wind gusts 34 knots or greater and small hail. Source. Radar indicated. Impact. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The strong thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Boaters should seek safe harbor immediately until the storm passes. Wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Small hail, high waves, lightning, and heavy rain are expected with the storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. One in a row. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey, has issued a special marine warning for coastal and outer waters from Manasquan Inlet to Little Egg Inlet, New Jersey, until 8:30. That was the one I was waiting for, Manasquan. And there's a thunder. There's a thunder. Hazard. Wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source. Radar. Impact. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Beach Haven, Barnegat Light, North Beach Haven, Garden State North Reef, Ship Bottom, Barnegat Light Reef, Garden State South Reef, Harvey Cedars, and Fork River. Move to safe harbor immediately as gusty winds and high waves are expected. Whoa. The coastal waters forecast I hear the thunder coming. right now, guys. The thunder is getting here. Whoa. It's going to rain here in Queens. It's coming. Yep, there it is. I'm surprised there's no severe thunderstorm warning issued for New York City yet. There should be one, but why hasn't nothing issued it? The winds definitely are picking up. All right, everyone. Um, I want to let you know to wrap up this video. I um, missed catching the severe thunderstorm warning for Suffolk. So let's see where it was. Trying to see, it said Rocky Point, Wading River, and Calverton. Oh, yeah. 
that's definitely around the range where the National Weather Service office in Upton's close to pretty much. Mm-hmm. But they should have been more specific and said that it was also for Miller Place in Suffolk County, but I guess not. But yeah, guys, um, I want to thank Evan Gold for um, notifying me about that. If he's watching, thank you. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, uh, thank you. Because this was a very long, and I mean long, video, guys. Of crazy EAS alerts that I have caught in the past uh, couple of days. So, um, I'm going to go get going. 848. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go watch the Mets. They began late tonight because it was raining and they began at 8.15. So, let me go watch the Mets. And while we're at it, I'm going to go watch the College WX live stream. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching.